Hey guys, so I have another Apple speed test video. I have the iPhone SE, the 7 and the 7 Plus. For this video, I'm mostly going to be focused on the SE and the 7 Plus, but at least for the first test, I will include the 7. So the first test is going to be powering all three of these on at the same time. And it's actually my first attempt at this. A uh, little difficult. But I think like this will work. Alright, one, two, three. I wish there was a way to open up all three apps at the same time. I think that would get pretty tricky. Let me try it for an app or two though, just see. So all of these are on iOS 10. Interesting, so the iPhone SE was the first one to finish. And the 7 Plus looks like it's speeding out the 7 pretty handily here. All right, now the 7 is up. So let's see, I really didn't prepare to have all three of these going, but maybe for future tests I'll be able to do it. Let me just try with this. Try with Temp Run 2. Yeah, this is... Oop. Nah. Yeah, it's going to be tricky, but anyways, that's what I want to do. Just have the 7 Plus and the SE for this video. Alright, this is going to be pretty close. Alright, and the 7 Plus won by a really slim margin there. Um, of course, it may have been a little bit off just because I was, um, you know, trying to press all three at the same time. So let me just do it one more time. All right, yeah, so it looks like the 7 Plus definitely a tad bit faster. Open this up. And I will have a separate video with these two versus the seven. Uh, as usual, go to Chrome later with your CNN. Very close, but the seven plus a little bit faster. Uh, so the seven plus does have the new A10 chipset and three of its ramps so one extra. The SC has two and a nine. All right, open up settings. Very close there, I funny. I can tell the difference there, look the same, see YouTube. Really, really, really close, calculator, same thing. Clock, same result. Uh, ESPN. eBay. Wow, these are all really close. Uh, photos. And let's do camera in a second. Let's do Asphalt 8. All right, so similar to Temp uh, Temple Run 2, the 7 Plus winning by a hair there. So yeah, these are two of the fastest smartphones on the market. Got to say, I think the uh, SE held up pretty well. Going to Chrome. Do CNN first. S, or rather the 7 Plus a little bit faster. Let's do Nintendo.
really quick there on both IGN and then we'll do Yahoo. Oh, yeah, these are really fast web browsers. Um, Yahoo asked. Wow, <laughs> lightning quick here. Um, so obviously, guys, in terms of speed, you really can't go wrong either way. Now there are there is a lot more to the phones. Obviously, uh, one of the main differences, as you can tell, is screen size. So the SE has a four-inch screen. 326 pixels per inch versus 7 plus which is a 5.5 401 pixels per inch uh, both have rear 12 megapixel cameras although on the plus you see here you have dual lenses uh, a lot better with things like zoom we'll have some comparisons actually already have one on the channel we'll have more um, the front facing camera is a lot better on the 7 plus 7 megapixels versus 1.2 on the SC uh, in terms of internal storage, so with the SE, you're getting either 64 or 16. The version I have is actually 16, and really, it's in no way enough. Um, I would not recommend anyone get the 16 unless you really don't use your phone for anything. Just to download iOS 10, I had to uh, delete like half of my apps. And for the um, S, or rather the 7 Plus, it's 32, 128, or 256 gigabytes. Neither have micro SD card support, but that's true with all Apple products. The battery on the 7 Plus is a lot bigger to in part count for the uh, screen size, but also I just found that the battery life is better overall. So it's 2900 mAh versus 1624 on the SC. I already mentioned A10 chipset versus A9, 3 gigabytes of RAM versus 2. Um, so the 7 Plus does have stereo speakers. Uh, it is water resistant. That's an excellent new feature. Glad they added that in. Also worth noting, a lot of these features are also in the 7. Both of them have fingerprint scanners. I'll do a quick test on that in a second. Um, both of them have lightning cable port at the bottom. But one thing that's worth noting, of course, the 7 Plus and the 7, they don't have the headphone jack. Uh, I know some people don't care, but I'm one of those who does. So... Pretty disappointing that they got rid of that. Um, the SE though is a few hundred dollars cheaper. You can generally get it for around 400, 450 if you're going to get the good version, the 64 gigabyte version. Um, with the 7 Plus, I think 32 would be fine for most people, and that's going to run you around 750. So still around 300 dollars more. So just to look at the fingerprint scanner, uh, I think both are pretty solid. 7 Plus may be slightly better. I think I read that it's a slightly newer model. But personally, I think both are pretty good. You guys see for yourself. So maybe a little bit more lag in the SC. I'm actually not sure if I have this registered to my... Yeah, I don't have it registered, but I think you can tell that it's a little bit slower. Again, versus the 7 Plus. And yeah, the 7 Plus also, the button here, it's actually not a button anymore. Uh, you do get some feedback when you press it, but it's kind of hard to explain. So it, it kind of feels like a button, but at the same time, we know it's not. And just a little, uh, actually, let's do camera test as well. Just gonna snap a few quick pictures, see how fast these cameras are. And as I mentioned, I do have a full camera test uh, in my on my channel. And I have a lot more planned as well. Yeah, so both really fast taking pictures, really not much of a difference at all. And again, another look at the outside of the phones. So as I mentioned, the iPhone SE, Based on the 5, the 5S model, uh, does have a few minor adjustments, but for the most part, this is what you're going to get. Really hard to tell the difference. Actually, the main way you can tell is this tiny little SC logo right here. And the 7 series, I think, really nice looking. Uh, it does look pretty similar. Of course, you do have this. A lot of people don't like this. I think it's worth it having dual cameras. Uh, definitely improves the zoom, things like that. 
But in terms of the design, I think it's pretty similar to the 6, 6S, 6 Plus. But I do really like this black color. I would recommend getting the black. Uh, again, this is just the regular 7, but definitely the best color in my opinion. And this is not the jet black, not the really glossy one that tracks all the fingerprints. Just the normal version, so it's probably... Maybe in stock. The jet black is sorted everywhere, but this one you may be able to get. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was informative, helpful for you. Uh, please subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will have a lot more planned. Uh, a lot of vi uh, comparison videos versus Xperia's versus Galaxy's. All the major smartphones. Um, Alright guys, thanks again for watching. And please let me know in the comment section what video you want to see next.